I am representing here the sound of silence, the cry of innocence, and the face of invisibility. I represent millions of those children who are left behind. And that's why I have kept an empty chair as to remind us, as a reminder. I've come here only to share the voices and dreams of our children. Because they are all our children. I have looked into their frightened and exhausted eyes. I have held their injured bodies and I have felt their broken spirits. Twenty years ago, in the foothills of the Himalayas, I met a small skinny child laborer. He asked me, is the world so poor that it cannot give me a toy and a book instead of forcing me to take a gun or a tool? I met a Sudanese child soldier. He was kidnapped by an extremist militia. As his first lesson, he was forced to kill his friends and family. He asked me, what is my fault? Twelve years ago, a child mother from the streets of Colombia trafficked, enslaved, raped, asked me this, I have never had a dream. Can my child have one? Friends, all the great religions teach us to care for our children. Jesus said, let the children come to me. Do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to them. Holy Quran says, kill not your children because of poverty. Friends, there is no greater violence than to deny the dreams of our children. Therefore, I refuse to accept that all the temples and mosques and churches and prayer houses have no place for the dreams of our children. I refuse to accept that the world is so poor when just one week of military expenditure can bring all the children to classrooms. I refuse to accept that all the laws and constitutions and police and judges are unable to protect our children. I refuse to accept that the shackles of slavery can ever be more stronger than the quest for freedom. I refuse to accept here. My, my only aim in life is that every child is free to be a child, free to grow and develop, free to eat, sleep, and see daylight, free to laugh and cry, free to play and learn, free to go to school, and above all, free to dream.